Parkinson's is the fastest growing brain disease in the world. There's over 10 million people globally, and in the US, we're approaching 1.2 million Americans. One of them is my very own father. This is alarming because the annual economic burden in the US alone is over $50 billion. There are a number of problems in chronic care management for Parkinson's. I'm just going to highlight a few. First off is a physician burnout due to high patient ratios. And because of this, there's often a, a lack of patient-centric care. And as many of we know, in a fragmented healthcare system, there's limited or inexistent integration, meaning poor coordination flow and information flow between multidisciplinary care teams, including speech therapists, physiotherapists, and occupational therapists. And there's an expected shortfall of neurologists in the next 12 years. Our patent pending solution uses a secure cloud for safe and efficient cloud, uh, safe and efficient data collection and accessibility. Using remote patient monitoring, patients can record videos on themselves or loved ones can record videos and upload to their portal. It only takes five to 10 minutes on a weekly basis. The machine learning then kicks in. And the patient videos are automatically processed using computer vision technology. Our integrated platform allows multidisciplinary care teams to access patient data charts and offer personalized support by analyzing symptom tracking and disease progression. We have a number of machine learning modules in our solution set, from hand tremor analysis to measure the early signs, as well as uh, classify uh, the clinical scale, body analysis for posture and gait progression, facial masking to detect and decode sentiment, sleep to identify and analyze disruptions. By using artificial intelligence, we're able to extract clinical biomarkers with the ability to analyze motor and non-motor symptoms. One of our newer developments will be partnering with Data Lab over in Scotland. UK will be granting us grant money for speech analysis using machine learning. This has several applications in Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's as well. In fact, when we were developing this technology, we had a stroke victim come to us and say, if this technology was readily available, it would have empowered her own rehabilitation. Some of you may know John Nasta personally, and he sits on the Google Health Advisory Board. He recently said, data, and in this case, big data, will become the third fundamental window into humanity after the microscope and the telescope. It's that important. After someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's, they have an average life expectancy of 15 to 20 years. But one of the biggest problems is because of lack of neurologists, your average patient can only see the neurologist three, four, five times a year. So there's so much that goes on in between. We fill in that gap rem with remote patient monitoring at all stages. This way, neurologists can make better decisions using data with the personalized medical approach, adjusting medications when necessary, recommend therapies like speech therapy or occup occupational therapy at the right time sooner than later, and even monitor patient recovery after surgeries like DBS. We're also very excited, one of our advisors, Dr. Jesse Cohen, who is a movement disorder fellow and neurologist at UPenn Medical will be using our technology in prodromal studies in an IRB study as early as next year. The Motion Doc dashboard allows neurologists to quickly see all information and data points in one place. They can access the integrated platform for patients' health metrics of disease progression or health records like EEG, MRI, and therapy schedules. At Ageless AI, we're very excited for a future of synchronized chronic care management. With advancements in medical technology for continuous care, this now translates into 
in-person visits that are less rushed, personalized, and offering greater precision. This all started back in 2019 when I was with the physician-led group at Donner Lab at UC Berkeley. We had a focus on healthcare machine learning applications. I brought my strengths of computer vision, data engineering, and data visualization. In 2020, I quickly prototyped several machine learning modules alongside the development of the Motion Doc dashboard. This year, we're increasing our development efforts and partnerships, including universities like Stanford and UPenn Medical, seed investors, nonprofits like the Parkinson's Foundation, and patient groups all over the world. We expect to engage with the, with the FDA by the end of this year. And quite frankly, I do need to adjust this uh, timeline after sitting down with Micra and other fabulous CROs over here because it looks like we can go to market even sooner than expected. The business model is quite simple. Software as a service. For $40 a month, and our users are eligible for Medicare coverage in the US. By using the remote patient monitoring billing codes, they can do weekly check-ins for five to 10 minutes. And by 2022 or 2023, our projected revenue with 7,500 users is $3.6 million. We're seeking funds to hire talented engineers, bring our team of cognitive scientists, machine learning engineers, computer scientists, um, product strategists, and so on, to finish product development and go to clinical trials. We're seeking 2.7 million on a convertible or safe note, and with an expected annual burn rate of 870,000. This is a picture of my lovely parents, Johnson and Alice. In 2013, my father Johnson was diagnosed with Parkinson's. Thank you, I'm Anthony Moose, the data scientist and founder of Ageless AI.